Elon Musk took away a pre-ordered Tesla from someone who had negative things to say about an event he threw. Now, a venture capitalist by the name of Stuart Alsop wrote a opinion piece, an open letter that Elon Musk was not in favor of. Headline, Dear Elon Musk, you should be ashamed of yourself. The letter listed Alsop's issues with the event. It started late, it focused too much on safety, and it was so packed that even people like him, who had placed a $5,000 deposit on the car, didn't get the chance to test drive it. Now, later on, apparently, Elon Musk saw this, and he's like, oh, you pre-ordered one of my Teslas? Yeah, canceling the pre-order. And so now people are saying that Elon Musk is being petty. I'm going to go ahead and defend Elon Musk. I, I knew you would. I do the same thing. I do the same thing. Oh, oh, you, you have open letter to me. I should be ashamed of myself. Really? Okay, well then, fuck off. You don't get my car. You pre-ordered it. Don't want your money. You can keep it. Okay. There's something. Look, if you can't be a CEO who gets to call shots like that, then what's the point of being a CEO? Uh, <laughs> I first heard Joe Rogan say this, but then I saw it in a movie recently too. Uh, what actually I saw it in Billions on Showtime. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the point of having fuck you money if every once in a while you don't say fuck That's you? That's so true. <laughs> That's and there was I don't know. There's something really exciting and liberating about this. Like I love people who just do what they want to do, right? Yeah. It's not harming someone. Okay, so you wanted a Tesla, now you don't get your Tesla. Who cares? No one's getting hurt in the process right. except for you. Okay, now I, I, I disagree with uh, Elon Musk mm -hmm. and, and your position, but first I want to keep backing you up. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, there is a time to draw the line. So for example, my dad's trying to sell his house a million years ago back in East Brunswick. We're going to move to Freehold. This is all in New Jersey. And a guy comes into his house. He's like, this is all wrong. This house sucks. And I have to put as much money into the fixing this house and I would pay for the thing. And he's trying to haggle and negotiate, right? Yep. And my dad's like, thank you very much. I'm, I'm going to ask you to leave. And he's like, no, no, we haven't started negotiating yet. My dad's like, we're not going to negotiate. I don't care what you want to pay for it. I wouldn't take your money if you paid more than full price. Now, please leave. Wow. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So, but wait, wait, wait. No, no, there's no wait. You're gone. Okay, I'm done with you, and I'm moving on with my life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I love that. <laughs> so that's there is a time to drop the mic. Yeah, and he was right. That guy was going to offer something totally unreasonable and waste his time, and he just wanted to move on with his life. You don't like my house? That's great news for you. You don't have to buy it. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Okay. Now in this case, it's bad PR, right? Yeah. And it, like what the person did wasn't that bad. Just some people criticize you. I mean, I should know a thing or two about that. Yeah. Right? You move on with your life. This is what, okay, you want to do that, Elon? Great, do it. I get don't it. don't let him get under your skin. Don't let him bother you that much. I know, but okay, first of all, businesses reserve the right to refuse service to anyone, right? And so if someone does or says something that you don't agree with and you want to refuse service to them, I think that that's well within your right. Is this bad PR? Sure, I guess, whatever, who cares, okay? But at the same time, I feel like, we're allowed to have our opinions about things, and we're allowed to voice our opinions about things, but those opinions have consequences. Mm -hmm. And so it's like the CNN thing. I went on CNN and you know said what I said about how they're being corrupted by corporate money. Mm -hmm. If CNN doesn't involve uh, invite me back on, I'm not going to be like, oh, look at CNN being petty. It's in their right not to invite me back on, right? I shared my opinion knowing full well that there are consequences to having those opinions. And in this case, this guy's a tough guy, and he felt like writing a strong strongly worded open letter to Elon Musk, well, you did it, and here are the consequences. Live with it. Yeah. Well, I, I'll agree with you on this. The guy can't then turn around and complain again. Which is what he did, by the way. Okay. I mean, look, you had a right to air your grievances, and you did, and I'm on your side on that. Elon Musk reacts the way that he did. Then you go, oh, okay. I guess I can't buy the car. <laughs> and you go buy another car. If you yeah. were that upset anyway, no problem. You should be happy to get you your money back and go buy another car. Apparently, you have plenty of money. You can buy any car you like. Have at it, Hoss. But finally, again, Elon Musk, dude, you should be way above this. I mean, you got however many billions of dollars. He's the only person to ever have built two billion different billion-dollar companies. So when a, a blogger criticizes you on something or other, your reaction should be exclusively. Ding. True, true, <laughs> but I think it might have struck a nerve with him. This is just speculation, by the way, because the guy's a venture cap capitalist. Mm -hmm. So he's an investor, and maybe it got under Elon Musk's skin because maybe his open letter was going to resonate with other VCs. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But That's a great way. point. And by the way, don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on the blogger. He had, I'm going to repeat, he had every right to 
uh, right what he did, and I'm glad that he uh, criti is criticizing him and calling him out for uh, what he uh, what he did. And uh, and the other thing that Elon Musk could have done is taken heed of the criticism and see if it was legitimate and try to address it. Right. That would be another good way to go.